Well, welcome back, everyone, to the Mod Showcase. I hope you all are excited for a wonderful little showcase of mods. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back over here for another one of these. So before we do get started, as I always do like to say, mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. However, if you follow the instructions laid out by the lovely mod creators from this week, uh, I think you guys should be just fine. If you have any issues, just reach out on the modding server. There's always someone to help you out. Let's get started. Okapi time. This is about as many Okapis as I've seen in like my entire life. Look at these guys. So this is, of course, the Okapi remaster. This one is made by Narwhaler. Really beautiful, beautiful remaster. He always does such a nice job with really highlighting some of the details that Frontier does now that they really haven't been able to do in the past. Now, one of the main qualms about the Okapi that many people have had is the fact that it doesn't have that same velvety fur as you would see in real life. A lot of the times when you do see Okapis in real life, they look like suede animals, like animals with suede on them. I don't really know. I'm dissuaded from this opinion to be regardless. But look at these guys. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Narwhaler always does such a good job with like his line work, especially in like these small details down there. Always so beautiful. And of course, this new remaster actually comes with a new variant as well. So we do have the leucistic version of the Okapi. So this one is just a little bit more paler. It looks like it looks like sand kind of like poured on top of him. I don't know. He just looks super nice. He looks like an very polite gentleman. So very nice job Narwhaler on there. I really do love that kind of like suede, kind of like velvet effect that you were able to get on the body. Super nice, super awesome. You don't really get it too much with the leucistic version, but I assume that's kind of what it's like in real. All right, so let's move on. Uh, this is of course the common ostrich remaster with I believe one new variant or two, I'm not really sure. Here's a leucistic version, just essentially Kevin, I guess. Uh, but you can see that the ostrich itself was made a little bit more realistic. Narwhaler really thinks that being able to shrink the eyes really helps result in a much more cleaner looking model. And he's right, it really does look super awesome. He also fixed the tail a little bit more, which was pretty cool to see. So it's just really awesome. You guys ever think about the fact that, you know, ostriches have two toes? Like, I don't know, that just always kind of freaks me out. But yeah, ostrich looks pretty good. Happy with that. And he also added the North African ostrich as a variant. Again, really super awesome use of this, especially trying to get, like, um, you know, more species slots. Once we do get, like, that kind of fixed, uh, I really hope Frontier is able to. If you haven't, be sure to post on the forums and kind of join the fight <laughs> essentially it's not a fight it's just asking for you know them to throw us a bone but this also helps cut down on that uh we do have the north african ostrich as a new species but i will be translating that over to i believe the maasai ostrich which is the blue necked ostrich so that'll be super fun to have but yeah this is a very beautiful reimagination of the current North African Ostrich, and of course it's much more realistic due to Narwhaler's keen eye for detail. But let's move on from there. I kind of space out the mods this week, I apologize. We're going to travel over here to see the Pygmy Hippopotamus remaster. Again, another one of those where it's just small details that Frontier wasn't able to manage back in the original game, but Narwhaler was able to really manage uh, in terms of his own kind of expertise. Always do love that effect that you get with the hippos with like those skin kind of like crevices. I don't know, it's just super awesome. But yeah, he just made this guy a little bit more chunkier as it's supposed to be. Uh, eyes a little bit smaller and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think he also fixed up the colors on it too. Uh, just looks really good to begin with. Uh, but amazing job, Narwhaler. Great work. Now, this is yet another Narwhaler one, which I think turned out super awesome. Uh, this is the Plain Zebra Re Remaster. I say Re Re because he did it again. So he of course did custom patterns for the zebra. He included this custom variant. I believe this is, I want to say tangerine, but I think it's, how do I find the colors? Hello, please come here, sir. Uh, it is the, I 
I'm going to say this right, I swear. Eri three, Eri Rick. Eri Listen, just make fun of me in the comments. I'm used to it at this point. But he also included the Burchell zebra, which is a subspecies of the plain zebra itself. Really, really awesome work over there. You can tell these guys apart by their small little brown markings inside of their rear stripes over there. Just really awesome to begin, just to begin with. And he also did a lovely job just really remastering the zebra to begin with. Just really beautiful, brings these animals to a whole new level. The base game one, it was a little lacking, but I'm super happy to see his eye for detail. Yet again, really stick out with this animal. So incredible job, Narwhaler, especially with the muzzle. Oh my gosh, nice work. All right, and then we're on to mine. <laughs> <laughs> the best for last. This is a Somali Wild Ass remaster. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I really wanted to update this guy to the Shavalski's Wild Horse Rig just to get those really special animations onto the animal itself, especially since it is somewhat related to donkeys more often than not. Uh, you will have that head hanging animation, which is super awesome to see whenever it sleeps. Uh, but it's just really, really beautiful. I don't know. I worked for this mod for like a couple weeks. Uh, and it just turned out so gorgeous. Look at him go. I don't know. I just really like this guy. So I hope you guys do too. And look at that. They even have their mating animation. Super adorable. But that is it, my friends. Another quick showcase, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. My favorite this week, I'm going to have to say, is the Okapi. Really one of my favorite animals to see in zoos. And it's just a really awesome animal to begin with. And we'll watch this one kind of sleep right there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your favorites in the comments down below, as always. And I hope you guys have the most wonderful of wonderful days. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care and goodbye.